Hello, my name is Doug Steary. I am the paramedic practice leader for the interior region. Welcome to the May 2022 clinical practice update video. We have, a, we have a few updates this month, but before we begin, we'd like to acknowledge the efforts of all EMRs and paramedics in British Columbia. The week of May 22nd is Paramedic Services Week in Canada. The past year has been a challenging one for all of you. And although one week is not enough to applaud all of your efforts, we look forward to celebrating and showcasing with you. A few practice updates. First, there's a new A-STAR pathway for substance use beginning May 17th. We know that approximately 50% of overdose patients refuse conveyance to the hospital and that these patients are at higher risk of, 12, of the 12 month mortality without harm reduction practices in place. As you know, illicit drug to toxicity is the leading cause of unnatural death in British Columbia with more deaths than that of homicides, suicides, motor vehicle incidents, drownings, and fire related deaths combined. This new pathway allows for consented follow-up by outreach services to aid in accessing the patient to the care they need. The information is on the BCHS handbook and an education package is currently in development. For critical care paramedics, a robust review analysis has resulted in the procurement of a new ultrasound device. You may have seen them at stations already. If not, they will be arriving soon. The spring 2022 MoComp cycle included an ultrasound clinical refresher and orientation to the new device. Some practice reminders. Uh, a reminder about the medical medication alert uh, regarding the temporary short, shortage of pre-filled epinephrine syringes. If you have not seen it, please familiarize yourself with the situation and the recommended substitute as soon as possible. The medication alert should be posted in your station and is available through the front page of the BCHS handbook. Our clinical quality team continues to review ePCRs for quality of care, and we want to remind all paramedics that the American Heart Association has removed hypoglycemia as a treatable cause in cardiac arrest for adults. Blood glucose measurement can be considered once a return of spontaneous circulation has been achieved. The caveat, of course, is that it should not delay any evidence-based interventions, and it should not delay conveyance to the appropriate receiving facility. It should be noted that in the pediatric patients, the Pediatric Advanced Life Support Guidelines continue to list hypoglycemia as a treatable cause. Fantastic results from the PCP, STEMI, and ACP thrombolysis initiatives. We had 18 STEMIs identified in the field and conveyed to PCI. The average transport time was 39 minutes with 100% emergency department notification. An average of 117 minutes from our first medical contact to balloon inflation. That's phenomenal work. 17 patients were successfully treated in the field with tenecteplase. The average time of ACP arrival to 12 lead acquisition was five minutes, well below the goal of 10 minutes. The average time of the administration of TNK by ACPs after arrival was 25 minutes, with our goal being 30 minutes. Excellent efforts by everyone involved in contributing to these outcomes. Related to paramedic research and education, the Canadian Paramedicine Research Day is May 26. This inaugural event is hosted by a national coalition of researchers and services in collaboration with the Paramedic Chiefs of Canada. There's a fantastic lineup of topics and presenters, including several from BCHS. If you haven't registered and you're interested, you can register for the event at canadianparamedicineresearch.ca. In other news, the Medic Minutes podcast is being rebooted in June 2022. We're excited to see another avenue to deliver important and relevant information to all of you. And if you have any suggestions for episodes or topics, you can email us directly. Thank you for watching this quick May 2022 cl clinical practice update video. We look forward to our next update in June. We'll be trying to upload a new video at the beginning of the second week of each month. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can email us directly. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.